Welcome back, modelers. I got a special treat for you today. I have acquired through a sale a few of the new details from Edward, some of the 3D printed stuff, and then also getting into some of the brass gear legs for the Edward Zero. So I've got I got this as a little bit of a standalone video to uh, show you, and in the end. Is it worth all this money? Because to see how much I actually paid for all this, but it was a good chunk to go with the whole 3D cockpit printed setup. And the gear legs were not cheap as well. So are they worth it? Let's see. So first I'm gonna do something I normally don't wanna do is hold sprue up to the camera. But we're gonna have the detail of the gear uh, doors okay so right there lack of detail one thing to notice on that mm -hmm. okay and then not bad and uh, remember there's also going to be some photo etch to go along with these gear legs but take a little bit of a note at the attachment point that's, that's kind of part of the interesting point to this so I want to see if these will actually be significantly stronger that i don't know to build these things okay so this is what we get into with the brass looks pretty dope you don't have to deal with any of the extra photo etch on it um more detail at whatever this piece is i don't know what that is uh called but the way that it attaches i'm wondering how much more strength it'll have because uh, there is some flex with the part so as you can see definitely more detail than the kit part for the inside of it the outside portion mm. meh meh pretty similar one thing that's going to definitely change is the thickness of it since this is resin you get into a really thin part so if you want to get into if scale thickness is kind of a thing for you yeah that might be worth a acquisition for you but let's look at all the different cockpit pieces there's a ton of photo etch so this one piece is got all sorts of different stuff already on it. The wires already represented. You don't have to do anything with the pedals. And then you get into just most of the stuff's just already assembled. So you get all those gear pieces there. Uh, one thing to note is with right in here these are actual like levers whereas you have kind of a flat photo etch piece on the main kit so that's going to be different let's see back wall Anything added? ah okay but is that the no this is the portion that you actually will see so you can see a little bit of the rivet detail on the top. A lot of that gets lost here. Definitely represented. So that's pretty cool. My initial impression is all of this. The kit itself is good. This just takes it to a next step, just like anything with a lot of the Edward releases now. Um, cool. Nothing special with ejection part but the seat so the attachment points are already placed on there so that's good some detail in the back whether that'll be seen different story i don't know because when you get into here you can see not much detail to that
And the bucket has a little bit of rivet detail. And you can, one thing I noticed that I didn't really care for is just kind of how the edges in here just kind of, I don't know how to explain, but they're like flat where here you actually got them rounded and like the real thing. So that is good. Both are drilled out. I mean, not anything super crazy, but the struts support it. Let's see if I can find that piece in here. Well, part of it is uh, that guy. So once again, adding some more detail. Uh, the guns. Pretty cool. You got it all drilled out. Mechanisms. Pretty dope. A lot of that gets kind of hidden away though, but whatever. Still pretty amazing detail there compared to the kit. Not bad, but definitely added more on the 3D print. So that there. Mm -hmm. And then let's see. The control columns. Actually, let's just look at the bottom again. So that's your bottom before you go in and attach more stuff to it. A lot more stuff happening there. A lot more rivet detail. The, you still have a little bit, but it's a looks like a, a positive, positive riveting versus just kind of whole subtractive riveting. Yeah, so yeah, interesting. Let's see the side. That piece, get into a few bits of what the computer radio, and well, we don't have computers there. Radio consoles, definitely adding some extra detail on there. That looks pretty nice. And the hose actually looks kind of like a hose. It's more straight plastic on this here. So that's nice. Let's see. Other parts. Ah, so here, like the throttle column and whatever those gauges are, it's not bad, but room for improvement with here. Very crisp detail. Let's see, I don't believe this came. I guess you maybe use kit photo etch. Is there more photo etch in here? Did I not look? underneath everything <gasps> there is my goodness edward just keeps delivering so one thing to note is you probably already have you know the full kit but you could get into uh when they have some over trees released or the pro well more of the over tree setup because here you got the belts with it so i'll have an extra set of belts and then decals for the instrument panel that we'll get to Aha, uh -huh. so there you go. So there will be some different photo etch levers to go into there. Why well, wasn't just molded in? I don't know. That's weird. So then we get into here with the control knobs and everything. Pretty cool. Where, let's see what part that is. Mm-hmm. So, much more detail there. So that's nice. Whether or not all this is going to get lost when you close up the canopy and it will put on the glass and everything. Okay, so this part right here, there is some photo etch to make it look better, but and it's a little fiddly. This, boom, ready to go no cleaning up you might drill a little bit of holes in there but otherwise that's ready to go flight control stick is pretty good where is that 
I can plain where's Waldo with parts. All right, now the instrument panel, not exactly adding anything revolutionary on that. Uh, you can do a, a few pieces, you can do the photo etch, or you can do this, the decal method. And they almost look identical. Yeah, I mean, slight bit of improvement on the resin, but meh. Okay. A few little boxes. I'll have to see where they actually go. Probably going to get hidden. Okay, and then the supports for the instrument panel. A little bit of added detail there compared to the kit. But the kit's not bad. Okay. Now, for here, this is where there's some definite improvement. For part we have in the middle, that's just kind of replicated by photo etch and it's just meh. And then photo etch for these other parts, unless you want to use the decal, they do give you some options, but yeah. So a little better improvement. right there and then so we've got that part which is not bad versus there and definitely with the wires on the side that's the money changer right there so definitely some added improvement oh i guess that's that box there's good Okay, what is left? All right, so this part that doesn't really get seen when you close it all up, but included. And then I need to see the heck these go to. All right, so this piece to the far right, she goes right there. I think it's just like a disc or something on the kit part um oh yeah part 49 so it's much much better much better do you tell there now 59 goes there and it's got a question mark so i guess it's just it depends on the version but yeah i don't remember seeing that on the standard kit so maybe there's a special version that looks like that uses it. It looks like it's just like a giant light bulb. It says super chrome. That, oh, well, now I think of it, it's probably a mirror. Hmm, imagine that. So that part goes on there. Hmm, I'm gonna have to do some more research and take a look at those. And then 58, so we get in nothing revolutionary there okay a little bit better detail that you can notice with i mean it comes with the photo etch already but i don't think I have to see if that part's in the original kit so add some more detail to the gun sight for sure okay kind of straightforward Pretty easy. It takes a few steps out there. Let me see. Let's just this way. Okay. So with the gun sight, they do have a little, quite a bit more detail with it. Um, instead of just having it be all one clear piece, you have individual film. So oh, that's a big improvement. Good. But pretty simple. One thing that has definitely improved is put wire and wrap that around there. Now, what that pulley system is for, I don't know, because it just shows it kind of going into oblivion, I guess, or just attaching to maybe. But everything else just kind of comes together. So we talked about this piece, much better improvement. 
that part better. 59, I don't think that's even in the kit. So very nice. There's all just a added bit of detail to everything. Whether it's worth it, that's up to you. Um, but just like with Edouard, their kit itself, pretty great out of the box. Um, not necessarily needing much other than the... I mean, you could basically just do the um, over trees and put in a seat belt and it would still look pretty dope. But I digress. So probably be building this here in the near future. I don't know, probably get caught up in a bit of squirrels and other projects coming up. But I wanted to show you those before I wrap up the build series for the current zero. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think it's worth it? And uh, make sure you like and subscribe.